we are now walking on the Meseta. The Meseta is the name given to the large and expansive flat area of central Spain, beginning just after Burgos and ending between León and Astorga. The Camino Frances goes through the northern part of the Meseta for approximately 220 kilometers. The Meseta is feared for its long stages, empty landscapes and big skies and for often being very hot and dry in the summer and freezing cold in the winter. Just now it is about 39 to 40 degrees Celsius here. We are now only a few kilometers from Hontanas, where we will stay for the night. We will spend the night in a hostel called Fuentestrella, run by a nice couple, Marilena and Kirian. She's from Italy and he's from England. They met in New Zealand and now they run a hostel and the local swimming facility in Hontanas. I have agreed to talk to them and ask how this went to be. Hontanas is nicely located in a small valley and you walk down to the village. But before the interview, it's time for some lunch and we both went for menu of the day, soup as a starter and pork as the main dish. A great choice. Det går så fan om man pausar och bara sätter sig ner och ja. vila lite. Ja, ja faktiskt. Jag har gått 13 dagar nu. 13 dagar! Ja, jag har gått 30 mil. Det är långt det. Ja. Jag har gått 30 mil på 13 dagar. Jag är stor förnöjd. Jag är så stort. Ja. Ja. Det har Well, any more bread or anything, just let me know. Butter? Butter? Yeah, yeah? thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And after this delicious main course, I went to talk to Marilena. So, me and Kieran, which is my boyfriend, met in um, New Zealand four years ago. Um, and after that, we decided to go to Central America to travel, um, which is where we started to do van life. Um, we bought a van in Costa Rica and drove all the way to Mexico. After this trip, we decided to go back to England and do the same for Europe. So we bought a van and obviously, you know, here and build a van and we needed a job. So we started looking for a job on Workaway, which is a website where you can do volunteer, but also paid work. And we found a job in this little village called Lontanas, in exactly this hostel where I'm sitting now. So three years ago, an Irish lady used to have these and we started working for her. And after two months, we were meant to leave Lontanas, but, um, the mayor of the town somehow knew that Kieran had a dive master certificate and he asked if we wanted to open the swimming pool, which is at the end of the village. The swimming pool belongs to the village and it has a little bar. So we opened that in 2019. And after that, we just fell in love with Antanas and came back last year as well, which was really busy even though coronavirus. And this year we decided to also take this hostel for rent 
Um, so this year we manage the hostel and the swimming pool and at the end of the summer last year we decided to op to buy a piece of land in Antanas to build our house. Um, so yeah, we, you know, life here it's different, only 60 people live in Antanas. Um, what we like about it is that every day we meet people from all over the world, we get to learn languages and, you know, every person has a story. Um, and also the local people are absolutely lovely. And yeah, we decided to live in Antana. So our goal is to build our home and kind of have a work and travel balance. Uh, so maybe work six months and travel the rest as we love traveling. And yeah, here we are. Yeah. To me, the Camino de Santiago is both a physical and spiritual journey. One of the things I like best is visiting all the beautiful churches along the way. Here I find peace in lighting a candle, praying or just enjoy the silence. The church in Hontanas is special in several ways, but one of the things I liked best was the exhibition in the tower where all the different pilgrimage routes around the world were presented. One of them was Olavsleden to Trondheim in Norway. Another great and very hot day on the Camino de Santiago is coming to an end. And is there a better way to end the day than a good and refreshing bath? But not so fast, Alfeld, yeah. Masks do not work underwater. <laughs> On the way back to the hostel, we heard someone talking about St. Bridges of Sweden and that she had her own place at the entrance to the village. We had obviously missed something, so we decided to go back and see. And we found this little interesting place. And I learned something about St. Bridges of Sweden that I did not know. Bridget of Sweden was a mystic and a saint and founder of the Order of the Bridgetines in 1344. She was born in 1303 as Birgitta Birgisdotter and died on the 23rd of July, 1373 at the Vatican. Bridget of Sweden is one of the six patron saints of Europe. She was proclaimed by Pope John Paul II in 1999. This little chapel was built in the memory of this great woman as a meeting point of pilgrims on the way of St. James. <laughs>